Hi guys, welcome to the channel and kaboom! Yes, welcome to my Made Simple Attack Strategy series. This is where we find some of the best attack strategies and we make them simple. And today guys, it's party time. Party wizards are here and they are amazing. And we've got an absolutely sensational attack strategy for you. It shouldn't work, but it does guys. So first of all, we're going to check out the army composition. Then I'm going to show you some amazing replays where we three star our opponents. So here it is guys. It's not called Mike and Bats. No, we're going to have to rename it. So let's think of something really amazing. What can we call it? We're going to call it Go, Go We Party. Go We Party. No, it hasn't finished yet. Go We Party Bats. Three exclamation marks because it is so amazing. So let's meet the troops. Your army is going to consist of three golems, six witches, 29 party wizards and one minion. That is Mike the Minion, of course. If he is on the battlefield, you're in with a real chance. Of getting three stars. Yes, your spells are going to be six bat spells, three free spells, and one rage spell. Your donated clan castle troops will be two yetis, a valk, and a barbarian by the name of Bob. Your donated clan castle spell will be a rage spell to sprinkle on top. And you're normally going to use a wall wrecker. This strategy comes together beautifully, guys. And in our first replay in a moment, we've got eight spells left at the end. It's that powerful. Yes. And guys, do remember, if you do want to see some of the latest and greatest attack strategies, do hit that subscribe button and the notification bell and join the Samus army. Yes. Anyway, enough of me talking. Let's go check out some replays now. So here's our first replay then, guys. We've got loads of replays for you today, each of them amazing. So do stick around and watch them all so you get a full understanding of how to use this awesome attack strategy. So centralised town hall bases, we got them, guys. We got them. So what you're going to do, you're going to put a golem on the left, golem in the middle, golem on the right, which is behind. And on the outermost golems, the one on the left and the right, for your funnel, put a few party wizards to help create the all-important funnel. Then in the middle, the wall wrecker, the heroes, and the rest of the party wizards. Use your Grand Warden ability nice and early to protect them if you need to, and put a rage spell down to help them into the base. And there we go, guys. That's the first stage of the attack, the funnel, and getting the troops into the base. Next stage of the attack, get that wall wrecker to the town hall. Put a rage spell down on the town hall in preparation so those yetis take it down quickly. And then you need to think about, if you haven't done so already, where you're going to put down your royal champion. It is so important for getting three stars to think ahead with your royal champion and decide where you want to use her best. Keep her back. Be cautious. Don't put her in early. You'll regret it. Anyway, so that's the first couple of stages on the attack. And the last stage, of course, it's the bats, guys. Where are you going to use the bats to sweep through the base and protect your troops? And you know what? I'm thinking we can three-star this base without the bats. The bats are there. They're waiting on the troops available. They've just phoned me and they've said, Samus, please let us out on the battlefield. We want to go for a fly. We want to fly around and help out. I'm saying, no, guys, we don't need you yet. I don't want to waste you. And uh, we've got uh, Mike the Minion. He's waiting to come onto the battlefield as well. Unused substitute. There he is. He's flown into battle. Bottom left-hand corner. He is in charge now, shouting out the orders. And guys, I think we got this. I don't think we need to use the six bat spells and the two free spells. No. There's no defences left. The rule champion's taking everything out. But you know what, guys? If you've got them, use them. Let's put these bat spells down. Let's let them fly around a bit. And we've got two free spells we're going to freeze the storages, freeze the extra storage for four stars, freeze the gold storage for five stars. Yes, guys. Auto five star attack. One and only. Uh, on to the next replay then. And this was a uh, war we had. I took out their number one war opposition with this lethal attack strategy. So let's jump into the replay now. Centralized town hall base. Guys, it's a magnificent looking base. It's a shame to three star this base. But we're going to. So Gollum on the right, Gollum on the left, Gollum in the centre. Couple of uh, witches and party wizards on the outermost Gollums to create that funnel. Heroes in the middle, rest of the party wizards in the middle. We lost somebody off the screen there. Grand Warden ability used. And then a rage spell down as well. What you want to do, guys, you've got three free spells, remember. You need to try and keep at least two free spells to help clean up with the bats later on. If you don't, You'll regret it, and you'll see that in uh, some of the replays today. I, I used the free spells when I didn't really need to, and the bats suffer. So we put a rage spell down on the town hall, and I'm going to use a free spell on the town hall. Probably did not need to do that. I just got worried because you've got all those four expos attacking the Yetis. Look. So I was like, okay, let's freeze the town hall just to help them out. The most important thing is taking out the town hall, though, because if you don't, you're going to get 
One star, guys, yes. So we're sending the bats over on the right. We've got two free spells left, so we're okay. I've decided to freeze. Is there a wizard tower that I can't see, guys? Yes, freeze the wizard tower, and we've had to do it twice, taking out those expos. But, guys, we've got no free spells, and who's waiting down there? It's William, the wizard. He's waiting, he knows, and he's just done a 180, turned around, boom, and those bats have just been disintegrated. That was horrible to watch. Sorry, bats, that was my fault. Uh, but... Mike the Minion's there to pick up the pieces and deliver the three stars again. And guys, if you're watching the channel for the first time and you don't know who Mike the Minion is, yes, he is powerful. The most powerful troop in the game. Level 97, Mike the Minion. He can three-star a base by himself if he wants. A level one base, uh, probably, if he hasn't got an air defense. Do you get air defenses at level one? I'm not sure. Anyway great replay on to the next one then so this is sort of a teaser base anti three star base this shows the strategy does work we're going to be brave and we're going to attack from the other side sorry I, was, well, I didn't finish my sentence this shows the strategy does work against these sort of teaser bases anti three star bases with a town hall sort of towards one side it's going to be a big ask though we need to get that wall wrecker all the way across so we've used the grand warden ability nice and early we put that rage spell down there we need to do some damage with those party wizards Yes, they are fragile. Out come some CC, CC troops, including a headhunter there, a couple of them. How's the war record doing? It's doing okay. Have we put the rule champion on the battlefield? Yes, we have. I think she is. I think I sent her in early to help out. So guys, normally, so create your funnel, then get the war record to the town hall. And I always say, Keep hold of the Royal Champion until later. Because the amount of times I've sent her in early and we've got two stars and it could have been three if we held on to the Royal Champion to see what's happening on the battlefield. Just try it. Try it a couple of times. See how you get on. You will not regret it. So we're sending the bats in now. We haven't got any free spells left. As guys, the bats are not having a good time. They were not happy with me after this replay. The leader of the bats is called Billy the bat. He came over, he flew over to my house, knocked on the window, and I was like, what's that on the window? Like that, and I opened the window, and Billy was there. He said, Samoose, don't let that happen again, please. We were not impressed. You let us down. I said, sorry, Billy. I won't. And uh, I won't do it again. It's uh, Or maybe I'd do it in the next replay, I'm not sure. But yeah, don't let your bats down, guys. Keep those free spells. So, uh, as you can see, Mike the Minion is taking control of the battle anyway. Top right-hand corner, there he is. Go on, Mike. For the bats, yes. I, I feel a bit bad, guys. Let the bats down. Let the bats down. Anyway, on to the next replay. And here we go. We've seen this base before. Legend League again. Look at all those storages on the left-hand side. We can take this base down, though, guys. We can take this base down. The party wizards are ready to go. I'm ready to go. Billy the Bat and his bats are ready to go. Mike the Minion's ready as well. And we're off, guys. Golem left, right, and centre. You know how it works now. Which is behind? Party Wizards. Wall Wrecker in the middle. Then the heroes. Then a big bunch of Party Wizards. It's party time. Rage Spell down. Grand Warden ability. Get that record to the Town Hall. Use a free spell if you need to. There you go, guys. Easy. No, it... It is a nice spam attack. Yes, I'm going to miss the party wizards when they go. Will this strategy work with just normal wizards? I don't know. Maybe they're a, they're not as quick. Uh, but yeah, anyway, rage spell down on the town hall. And the town hall is getting taken out. We're going to send in the royal champion on the left-hand side. It's clear. There's no single target infernos. There's no heroes for her to run into. She can really do some damage and help out and hopefully take out that scatter shot in a moment. We've got the bats ready and waiting. Billy the bat is hovering just off the battlefield. Mike the Minion's there as well. They're ready in the deployment area. And here they come, guys. The bats sort of uh, just uh, diverging away into two separate lines. They're coming back together. And what's ahead of them? There's nothing, guys. There's nothing left. There's nothing left that can hurt the bats. So I cannot let the bats down this time. We've got two free spells left. Mike the Minion is there drinking from the spell factory. Just having a quick drink to refresh himself. And guys... No wizard towers. No nothing. We're okay. The bats are okay. Billy the bat is ecstatic. The queen's still going. And there we go. Sometimes, though, air mines are triggered. Mike the Minion's done this a few times. He's triggered an air mine and he's taken the air mine to the bats. And they've had a big fallout before Billy and Mike. It wasn't good. But anyway, those bats are now going around. Just cleaning up. We've got 15 seconds left. Hi, Mike. How you... Oh! No, Mike just took an air mine. 
bomb. I'm not sure which one it was. To the wing. And Mike has been taken out. We've just frozen that gold storage for four stars. We're going to freeze it again, guys. Five stars achieved. Well done. Believe the bat. So there we go, guys. Hope you've enjoyed the video today. Do hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. Join the Smooth Army for more... Oh, I forgot how to talk then. For more awesome replays. And if you're after Town Hall 13 bases as well, check out my playlists, guys. Yeah, and use code Moose in-game to help support the channel. Code Moose. Catch you later, guys. Take care.